<laughs> defense on me, defense on three. One, two, three, defense! We've got the Wix's semifinals from Jacob Hespler. The Hawks continuing their quest for a 10th straight championship. They were facing the Blueville Knights, who were looking to end the streak and pull off an upset. Opening quarter, it's a good start for Blueville. Malachi Price with a handoff to Liam Beckler, and it's a solid run from Beckler. He takes the ball to the one-yard line. The Knights on the doorstep, and they cap off the drive with this run from Jay Bush. He punches it in for the first touchdown of the game. Blueville scoring on their first possession. The Knights up 7-0. Later in the first, here is Liam Marsden trying to spark the Hawks. Marsden has been money all season long, and he's got a big punt return on this play. Marsden getting the ball across midfield. He gives the Hawks good field position. Out comes the offense. Jacob Boak is back to pass. The ball is tipped. It's caught by Isaiah Ellerby, and here goes Ellerby. He motors down the sideline and takes the ball to the 11. All of this leading to a field goal. Hespler's down 7-0. Three. Second quarter, watch number 10. That's Jacob Boak in a QB keeper, and he delivers a big hit. Boak with a first down. Jacob Hespler is trailing 7-4 at the break. Speaking of QB keepers, here's Malachi Price calling his own number in the third quarter. Nice work by the offensive line, creating space for Malachi. The Knights, though, with no points on the possession, still 7-4. Back to the highlights in a minute. First, a reminder, this video is presented by the Waterloo Junior Warriors, a proud supporter of local high school football. Join the Junior Warriors in 2024, the premier football program in Waterloo Region. More details at juniorwarriors.ca. Still in the third, here's Jacob Hesper conceding a safety. Liam Marsden kneels it down. That gives Blueville a 9-4 advantage as we move to the fourth. It's now a three-point game, and here come the Hawks. It's a big run from Brandon Reagan, he's got space and he's got a first down. The Hawks trailing 9-6 with six minutes to go. That is Jacob Hesper going to the air. Jacob Boak fires to the end zone. There is Avery Johnston and he's got it for a touchdown. The Hawks take the lead on a 30-yard passing play. Hespler's up 14-9. Late stages of regulation, the Knights with one last possession. And how about this catch from Jake Patterson? He's got it, taking the ball into Hawks territory. Then it's a match. Massive run from Jay Bush. It's third in season, and Bush picks up a first down. He keeps the drive alive with 113 to go. Eventually, it's another third down. Here is Malachi Price rolling right. He fires to the end zone, and the pass falls incomplete. But hang on. There's a penalty flag in the field. Jacob Hespler is called for pass interference, and that gives Blueville the ball at the one-yard line. The Knights with a chance to win it with zeros on the clock. Here is Malachi Price and a QB keeper. And the streak is over. Price scores. One of the biggest touchdowns in Bluevale history. The dynasty is done as the Knights celebrate. They advance to the Wix of final with a 15-14 victory. What a game and what a finish. Our post-game comments begin with Malachi Price. So before this game, leading up to this game, actually, our whole team's been very confident. We've been very locked in in practice, doing everything we can to prepare for these guys. And I think by the time, I think by the time this game came, we were just, we were so locked in that it's like no one else could really, you know, take us off course with what we're doing. Very close game. You know, we got down a little bit there right after half. We didn't know if we could come back and beat them, but we ended up driving the ball all the way down the field. Jake, Jake Patterson, number three, he ended up making that really good catch for me. Um, yeah, we moved the ball down the field. We scored them. Very proud. Very proud of what we did today. We got the time out there. Coach makes the right call. We line up on the line. Play we run in practice hundreds of times. That's why we practice it. Punch it in for the win. Nothing else you could ask for. Man, this is what we play football for, you know. <laughs> you know, all these all these moments and, you know, all season we worked for this. So, you know, it really paid off and we're going to come back Saturday. It's really an amazing feeling. Our game plan was to just come off the ball as hard as we can. Uh, we think we're tougher than the Jacob Hesper Lions over there. So we're just coming off the ball. and. You know, it's a little bit of a family affair with him and the coach and stuff like that, but honestly, it's just a wonderful feeling to just be us, do it our way, right? It's an incredible feeling. I loved playing with my brother and playing with my dad and running the ball. Um, it was phenomenal, and it felt incredible on that one-yard line to punch that in. So am I allowed to swear? The best feeling of my entire life. I loved that. It was 
absolutely phenomenal, and I cannot describe how happy I am right now.